Hey, this is Andrew, and I want to share some library magic with you that we have in Bullet Train that allows you to really easily create real-time applications. This is part of a library we've had for over two years called Sprinkles, but we never talked about it very much because around the time we started demoing it, we started hearing that Basecamp was going to have a very large library release that covered the same sort of surface area, and that's true. Hotwire and Turbo in particular overlaps pretty significantly with what we had developed, and so in some ways uh, there were components that we had developed that we didn't need anymore, but one of the things that left something to be desired was Turbo Streams. And it never really had the same level of developer experience that we were able to accomplish with our Sprinkles library. So that's what I want to show you today. So here's the problem that we're trying to solve. When I add a new record in my Rails application, I don't see it in any other view until I refresh the page. And if I edit that with a new name, I don't see that update over here until I refresh the page. What we would like to do is with seven lines of code, make this application real time. To accomplish this, I'm gonna go into my editor and I'm gonna edit two models and two views. So first, the creative concept model should include the sprinkles broadcasted concern. We're done, but it's not the only one. We also want to, for this index view, broadcast the team's association of creative concepts. So we include the sprinkles broadcasted module and we specify that this association here should be broadcasted when it changes. Now in the view, we wanna find the box component that corresponds to this view right here. And we want to say that that box should be streamed from the model in question. And so we'll update the indentation here. And then for the index view, it's the same thing. We want to go into that partial and say that that entire box should be streamed from, but it's not the individual record, in this case it's the team, and it's the association that we want to stream it from. And so we'll update the indentation there, and we should be done. Let's see if it works. I'm going to go back to the index view and add another record, and you can see that it's been added here automatically. And likewise, if I go in here and edit the name, it updates here and here automatically. Finally, if I go back here and look at the index view and start removing some of the objects, you can see that they delete from both places automatically. So not only have we not needed to dabble in any JavaScript, React, Vue, but we also haven't had to dabble in any sort of alternative rendering mechanism like what you see on the server side with Stimulus, Reflex, and Cable Ready or with Turbo Streams. Instead, this is a completely progressive enhancement to a regular Rails application and regular herb rendering. I'm not saying that there isn't ever a use case where those libraries aren't the right fit, but this is a vastly simpler sort of approach to the problem, and it's really an inversion. So if you're familiar with TurboStreams, and you know how when activity happens in the model that you generate some views and then you send them down the wire, in the approach that we're taking here, the server is much more naive about what the view needs are of the clients. And instead, it leaves it to the client to figure out what it needs to update. So without getting into too much detail, those of you who have dabbled in this problem space will probably be able to think about some of the shortcomings and some of the limitations, ways in which this may be a little less efficient. But the reality is for us, this has solved 95% of the problem and it's way simpler than anything that we've seen out there. Thank you so much for your time watching this demo.